train station in Uti. Uti, we are going to Punur, which is a very hilly and very scenic drive by the train. The train crawls up the mountain slowly and slowly. <laughs> Wow, we have to say something, Maruk. Say something, Maruk. Say something. You don't want me to Coming sing back by the bus is not going to be a breeze. Listen. Was it lover of the land? What? She loved the land. Rina? Rina. She was a big. Hello, Maru. What's up, boy? How much? Don't waste it on me. It's not wasted. In the Nile area. Although she was born in Hyderabad, she oh. wandered Rina. <laughs> Make believe? Yes. Oh. She, although she was born in Hyderabad, of uh, what caste was she? In? She was a Vaishya caste, but she did not believe in the caste. She only loved the land. She <laughs> was comparable to uh, the free thinking hippies of America, you see. But in India, these people do not exist, so she was on her own. And as soon as she was able to walk, she hit for the forests of India. <laughs> she says, I'm getting out of this city. I don't like people. <laughs> These people are trashing the land and I love the land. For example, she did not like the coal burning trains which emit sulfur dioxide which create the smog which we see in the air. And we end up breathing. And we end up getting sick because of these things. She said, I want to break away from society when she was at the age of only three. <laughs> so, at the age of three, she headed um, from Andhra Pradesh territory, <laughs> which Hyderabad is the capital city of, into the mountains of Nilgiri Hills. <laughs> And looking for monkeys and elephants. <laughs> she says, the monkeys and elephants have been living for millions of years without trashing the land. They live with the land. This is the way I want to live. I want to live with the monkeys. So, she came across a family of, of baboons. And she knew they were baboons because of the pink ass that they have. <laughs> so, she walked up peacefully to the baboons and the, she always had a way with animals, so the baboons gratefully accepted her into the baboon family. They happened to be the Khan family of baboons. Father being Shazahan Khan. <laughs> <laughs> leader, <laughs> leader of the whole monkey tribe, Mogul monkeys, what they call themselves. <laughs> the Mogul monkeys had quite a palace built in the jungle for themselves, with symmetrical trees, which they had to a tree and everything that they had going on. And she said, "I can, I can dig this family." These people are, these monkeys is where I want to be. So, she uh, lived with the monkeys into her, well into her thirties. But the monkeys do not live as long as the humans, so the monkeys were dying away. She had to find a new family. And she quickly took off, heading north into the Himalayas, this time saying, I want to live with the um, the sadhus of the Himalayas. But on her way, 
through the Himalayas. She was she was raided by pirates. All right, make it quick. Quick ending. <laughs> they wanted rupees from her. She says, I do not know what rupees are. I am living with monkeys. They did not believe her. And they quickly took out her sword no. and left it into her heart. <laughs> 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 and she quickly succumbed to her death in the plains of India on the Deccan plateau. The end. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Another story. Over and out. Story is not that. End it with over and out. Over. That's all. Over and out.